go into a little bit, since you have a background in psychiatry as a nurse, so go into a little bit about how food can help depression. Do you, mm. Is that true? Food is mood, okay? There you <laughs> go. Unfortunately, we turn to food because of our moods, but, um, you know, we're trying to fill this empty, you know, part of our, our life. And really, uh, you know, we are, we are meant to crave God. We're not meant to crave food, but food absolutely affects our mood, especially when it comes to sugar. Sugar is addicting. It does uh, cause people to be moody. <laughs> it causes me to be anxious and feel down. Um, I look at sugar as a toxic drug. You know, ever since my sister got sick, I look at sugar as toxic. It's absolutely toxic to our body. It's toxic to our ba brain. And I talked about the gut microbiome. So our gut microbiome um, are the bugs in our body that we feed when we eat. So when we eat, we're not only eating for nutrition or for enjoyment, but we're eating to feed those good uh, bugs in our gut microbiome. And if you eat junk food for one week, you will kill off 50% of your good gut bacteria, which opens the door to disease, by the way. But also, it's important to know, Sean, that with that question that you asked me about our, our mood, um, the vagus nerve goes from the gut to the brain. I know you know this. Um, but so if there's a vagus nerve going from our gut to our brain, whatever's happening in our gut affects our brain, mm -hmm. right? And vice versa, honestly. And so, you know, if you are sick in your gut, it's going to affect your brain. If you're not feeding those good gut bacteria and you're killing off those bugs, then it's going to affect your brain. And so what they found over the years is that um, absolutely what we eat affects our brain. And not just because we may feel bad about what we ate. I mean, that's the, that's the least of it, right? Physiologically, what we eat and what happens in our gut directly affects our brain. One of my trainers, um, one of my uh, doctor professors in my nutrition certification uh, for a nutritionist is Dr. Amen. And you might've heard of Dr. Amen's you know, brain clinics and he's right here in New York. And he has spent his life and dedicated his life to researching the brain and really talks so much about the link between the brain and the gut and the food we eat and how changes in the brain happen. I mean, you know, as a pharmacist, how many drugs affect our brain. And I just heard recently about the inhaled steroids, a new study done about inhaled steroids for asthma and how they are affecting the brain negatively. So how the way God made our body is our brain is directly linked to our body. I mean, it's not separate, right? right. So what happens in our body happens in our brain, affects our brain. And so as we age, you know, we look at our wrinkles and we look at, you know, our outside of our body, maybe saggy skin or whatever, aging, but we don't think about the fact that our brain is aging with it. And so we need to eat not only for our body, but for our brain, because our brain does affect our mood and our ability to function. And also, again, I mean, I don't know about you, Sean, but in the past, you know, literally five years, the amount of young kids that come into my practice that are teenagers that are on anti-anxiety medication wow. and antidepressive medication blows my mind. And yes, I know that there are chemical imbalances at times, but we are giving out medication too quickly to these kids and to adults too, but to the kids, it's such a disservice. There's no... No. And, and you know, this should be a clue that it's diet related is that the incidence of 
diabetes, type two diabetes in, in younger kids now is skyrocketing. So you got to think that all this is related. So it's related to diet, whether it be the diabetes and then whether it be the mental health issues is related to diet, diet and lifestyle. 